In this video, I'm going to show you how to create line notebook paper for your low content notebook using Canva. And I'm going to show you how to upload it to Amazon KDP to complete your notebook. So in the last video, I showed you how to create a cover for your notebook. And we created a basketball themed notebook for boys. So we're creating a six inch wide by nine inch tall notebook. However, for Amazon to print the book, we need to add bleed or extra area around our book and pages. And you always need to create bleed for your documents whenever your images or graphics or text goes past to the very edge. And adding bleed to your notebook pages lets Amazon know that your design goes all the way to the edge and that way it prints all the way to the edge. So first off, to add bleed to our notebook interiors, we want to add 0.125 inches at the top, 0.125 inches at the bottom, and 0.125 inches on either side, usually the right hand side, but usually doesn't matter. So on this document, if you keep an eye on the border right here, as I go to the top and click file and show print bleed, now you see this dotted line and the space inside this line is our bleed. So if we have a six inch wide by nine inch wide notebook, we would add the 0.125 to our width. So we'd have 6.125. And then for our height, we'd add 0.125 plus 1.25, which equals 0.250 or 9.25 inches tall. So if you don't have a camera account already, you need to go ahead and create an account and it is free. You don't need to pay for the pro version to do the notebook interiors. So once you signed up or signed in, go over to the custom size area and click. And for the width, we want to add the size plus bleed. So that's 6.125 for the width and 9.25 for the height. As you can see, the dimensions must be at least 40 pixels and no more than 8,000 pixels. And the reason this shows up is because we're on pixels and not inches. So click, click inches. And now just type in the width and height again. So 6.125, 9.25, create design. Okay, we want to go up to the top right here and name our interior. So click notebook interior. Okay, let's go over here to the file and just manually save it. It automatically saves. However, I just have to make sure that it's saved for sure. Now what I want to do is go down to here where it says 50% and I want to zoom in a little bit, probably about 60, 64. Now what I want to do is go to the left hand menu side under elements. I'm going to choose lines and shapes and click this. Now we're going to go to the top and we're going to leave some margin from top to here. Let's go ahead and click right here. So now we want to hold the shift button on your keyboard and click on the circle and drag and we'll drag it a straight line for you. I want to move this over and make sure it's centered. And you want to make sure the pink lines show up. So when you're, as you're moving it, the center line shows that the element is centered. Now what I want to do is I want to duplicate this line. However, first I want to adjust the line width or the weight. So click on the line, go to the top under weight. You want to choose one. There we go. I just want to click and choose a color. So up there on the color area, let's choose a gray color. How about this one? Just so it's not as dark. I want to make sure and click and we're going to go to the very top and click the duplicate button. Grab that and move it down. Okay, now let's go over here and click outside of the document. Hold and drag. And now those two selected, we can go to the very top and click duplicate again. Drag this down. There we go. Click outside again and hold. So it selects all of them. And duplicate again. And go down. Okay, now do it again. Highlight everything. So they're all selected. And duplicate. Okay, let's do it one more time. Let's go ahead and do half. Let's say right here. And duplicate. Set this down. Okay, now let's delete the bottom lines. Let's go into the top and click File and uncheck the print bleed margins. Just so you can see how it looks. Now what I want to do is I want to have more margin at the top. So I'm going to click and drag and hold. Highlight all these lines. And I'm going to go to the top and click Group. I'm just going to pull this down a little bit. There we go. So we have all our lines and they're all grouped into one element. Let's go to the top and save manually just in case. Now what I want to do is add a graphic to this page and I'm going to add a basketball themed graphic. This is the graphic that we got from Creative Fabrica in the last video. So we'll go to the side and click uploads. All right. And let's choose this one right here. And I want this kind of in the middle, kind of big. Make sure that's centered. All right, and let's go ahead and change the transparency by going to the very top under transparency. Let's move the slider. And I want it lighter than the lines. So let's go do, say 10. All right, looks pretty good. Now what we can do now is we can duplicate this page because remember in our last video, we wanted to create a 120 page notebook. So go to the top right here where it says duplicate page and click. Now we have a second page that looks like this. So what I'm gonna do now is I wanna click this image 
and I want to delete it. And let's say I want to put this one in there, make this bigger. All right, let's go to the very top under transparency and move this to 10%. There we go. So we have this one and this one. Let's go ahead and duplicate this page again and delete this. Just choose this one, go to the top and do transparency. Now you don't have to add image elements to your notebook paper. I just like to be different and make it more unique because this is just line notebook paper. So, so click. And what we can do is keep doing this until we have 120 pages. However, Canva only allows you to create up to 100 pages. So what you have to do is gonna have to split up our Canva document into two and then use an online tool to combine the PDF files into one PDF file so we can upload it to Amazon KDP. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep creating the pages, adding different images, and then I'll see you when I get back. Okay, now I added multiple pages. In fact, I've added 60 pages with different graphics on each side and they do repeat. So after every 20 pages, it repeats. And what I do is on the repeating pages, I usually just click the image, go to the top where it says flip and I flip horizontally. I do that to every other graphical element. So the reason why we have 60 pages here is since Canva doesn't allow us to create more than 100 pages and our notebook is going to be 120 pages, what I do is, is I take my total number of pages, which is 120, and divide it by 2, which gives us 60. So I'll go to the top and I'll click the download button. And under file type, I'll click PDF print. Make sure all pages, so 60 pages, is selected. And click download. All right, we're going to click save. And what we want to do is we're going to click on our notebook interior PDF and right click. And we want to copy, right click, and paste. Now for our copy, we want to rename this. And we're going to name it to 2. So notebook into year 2. Because we're going to combine these two files into one. And we're going to a website called smallpdf.com. At the very top, if you don't see this, go to the merge button. And for the free plan, you can complete two downloads a day. So let's go ahead and choose our files. So into your notebook and that'll upload. And we want the merge files option, which is free. So choose option. As you can see, our first set of 60 pages is here. We're gonna click the add more button and choose file. Now I'm gonna choose the notebook interior too. Now we click the merge PDF button. As you can see, we have one more task available for free. So you can pretty much combine up to two eBooks a day for free. All right, we click download and click the save button. Go to amazonkdp.com and you need to sign in or create an account. We are continuing where we left off on the last video. Last video, of course, we uploaded our cover. Now we're gonna upload the interior to Amazon KDP. So click sign in or create an account. And if you're following along with me, the last video, you should have a saved book. Now just be sure that you don't copy the notebook I created as is. Make sure you create your own unique design because it will get flagged if you copy my cover or interior exactly. I personally don't mind, but Amazon might flag it. So just make sure you change it up and change the graphics and coloring. But what we're gonna do now is continue to set up. And we're gonna scroll all the way down because we already filled this out in the last video. So I'll scroll and save and continue. Okay, now we'll scroll all the way down. And right here, we're gonna upload the paperback manuscript. So click, and we're gonna choose that file that's merged from a small PDF and click. Okay, we're gonna scroll down. Now we have a warning that it says, it looks like you made some changes to your manuscript or book cover. Please preview and approve these changes before continuing. So let's click the launch previewer. As you can see, it will save first and it's preparing your files. This is KDP is processing your manuscript and book cover to generate a print ready file. This requires a number of steps and can take several minutes. So we'll just wait for that. Now it's checking your cover for quality issues. Now it's checking the manuscript for quality issues. Now it's checking the trim size. Now it's saving again. Okay, here's our cover and the quality check has been completed. The print preview didn't find any issues that will prevent us from submitting our book. So make sure you scroll down and check all these information. Also to check the interior, the title is correct. The author is correct. The ISBN number is correct. And if you have any text in your spine, you wanna make sure that you prevent it from wrapping onto the front or back cover. And if we use a template to make sure to remove all placeholder images and text. And finally, make sure that the barcode doesn't overlap with any text and it doesn't. Just go ahead and click on the forward button. Okay, we can click through and see how our interior pages are gonna look. And we can click all the way through just to make sure. Okay, we went through all the pages and no issues selected. So let's go over here and click the approve button. Now let's click the save and continue button. Now we're on to the paperback rights and pricing. So you can check the all territories, worldwide rights. Just make sure you do hold the rights to whatever you publish and create. For Premier Marketplace, 
you can keep it on Amazon.com. Okay, and how I like to price my notebooks is usually $6.99. It should give us around $1.80, $1.90 royalties. It doesn't sound like much, but it does add up, especially if you're able to make multiple sales every month. Let's type in $6.99. Oh, that's wrong. There we go. And you can see it costs $2.99 to print, and our royalties are $1.90. So we'll make $1.90 per notebook that we sell. And you can go ahead and click this expand distribution. And what this pretty much is, is large book distributors can make your title available to other online retailers, libraries, universities, and booksellers. And it just adds extra sales possibly to your monthly income. So we can click this. Okay, and you can keep all the other areas the same. I'm gonna scroll all the way down. Now it can take up to 72 hours for your book to be available for purchase on Amazon. Until then, the book status will be in review on your bookshelf. Make sure that you check every, all the information is correct. Because by clicking publish, I confirm that I agree to and am in compliance with the KDB terms and conditions. Okay, and we can click publish to publish your paperback book. It'll save. Okay, now it'll show our book and the price that it's going to sell for. It'll also give us this message that they'll review the book and it could take up to 72 hours or more. And if it doesn't pass the review by Amazon, they'll email you to let you know. Okay, now since this is a notebook, I wouldn't recommend to publish your ebook because it is a notebook and it's going to be pretty much useless because people can't actually write in the ebook. So you can go and click close. And in our Kindle Direct Publishing dashboard, we scroll down, we can see that our book is here and it is in review. So we just have to wait until our book is approved by Amazon and that's all there is to it. You can keep creating these books by doing your keyword research and then creating a cover and then creating the interior. With that said, I'll have a link in the description for smallpdf.com. That way you can merge your different files together in one large PDF file to upload to Amazon KDP. I also have a link in the description for the previous videos. That way you can follow along so you can create your own notebook. It'll start out with a research video. The next video will be the how to create a cover for your notebook. With that said, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.